like, when I describe myself as a coach, I got another different personality. I'm mean. I want to say demanding in a good way. Y'all got to start sneaking up to the line. They, y'all got, don't show it until he say set. But that's how my coach was on me. I be happy, I be at peace. Like football, I don't care what I'm doing. I just know Sunday, football is me. Like, I feel like I'm in the Super Bowl. I feel like how Tom Brady feel when, when I'm coaching on the field. I ain't giving up. I'm, I don't think I'm ready to retire from football. I, I, yeah, you have to, you have to get, it, get something to carry me off the field. Football is me. If I could change one person's life, I did my job. Football, I get kids off the streets. It'll teach them it's more to life than being on, on the streets. Sometimes young men need to hear, hey, I love you. One person. Leave everything on the field today. Show up and show out. Let's Hit them in their damn mouth. Hit them in their damn mouth. Everybody wake up. When I started playing football, I played at Harper High School. I was all city running back. I played my freshman year, junior, and senior year. Freshman year, my mother passed due to brain cancer. My mother stayed in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And on the way to her funeral, I got to a real bad car accident. I told my ACL, I broke like five of my toes, and my, my cousin, he ended up dying in a car accident. My auntie had, she got hurt, and I ended up in uh, Mississippi in the hospital. And I woke up in the hospital, my exact words to the doctor, will I be able to play football again? He said, yeah, I was happy. You know, like I still got a career. That's all I cared about. Football was everything. I, I used to run up to the park just to play football. Like football, it's like a peace of mind. Like it's like whatever you going through, leave it on the field. You take it out on them. Hey, what number that that corner is? That's an athlete. Well, what, on both sides. I played at DuPage, but it went for long. I was like, like all season training. This is about to be my first year. I was like going back and forth to um, school. I ain't gonna lie, my financial aid went went going through, so I end up selling drugs. To get what I, I need, I had to pay rent. I was got I got into it with somebody on the block. He tell me like, hey, you can't be over here. Just go the other way. I'm like, other way? I ain't going no other way. Who is you to tell me to go the other way? So I walked. So me, I went, I thought I was who I was. I walked, walked back down the street. He walked up to me, yeah, you thought I was playing? Shot me, shot me in the face right in the chin, back. One of the bullets, I still have a bullet in my neck. It made me look at life a whole different way. I left the streets alone, even, even though I wasn't like a bad person in the streets, I just had to change my life. I'm like, hey, this ain't me. I gotta go back to the drawing board. Let me see what's going on. I'm about to have me some kids live my life the right way through God. Ronita, she's the most loving, sweethearted girl I ever talked to. Like, when we first met, I got into it with her. Cause I like her. I ain't had no gangs. I ain't know how to approach her. I shot my shot at her, let her know how I like her. And ever since then, we was together. It was me and my childhood friend, Ozzy. We was driving on our way to work. I get a phone call. Her mother called, like, she crying. She like, James, where you at? She's like, you well, just called me. All she's saying, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Get me to the hospital. I get to the hospital. They bring me in the room. The, the doctors say we had to bring her back to life six times. She died of a massive heart attack 2016. I was hurt. I'm still hurt, like. Like, looking at my kids, seeing her, she was like a motherly person. Like, she loved her kids. All she cared about was her kids. Like, how I am with my kids, but 
she was like the backbone that made sure everything straight. And I was just the provider. But now, me trying to fill her shoes, being a single parent by myself, it's hard. So I be trying to tell them like, hey, you blessed to have a father that's there for you, because I ain't have a father. <coughs> oh, Carlos, give me some push. Here, and you lift up on it. You don't, you don't do that, you'll break your arm. You gotta get physical, man. That ain't no physical stuff. <coughs> we just try to teach positive stuff to these, to the kids so they can learn more and more father figure to them, you know, what I didn't have at home. So now I'm trying to teach that to my son and other kids that who don't have father. One thing we gonna do, we gonna be disciplined at the line. Why are you walking, Carlos? We gonna be disciplined. Get on the ball. I, I'd have stayed in like banded house, not having nowhere to sleep. I know how that lifestyle feel, not having nothing to eat. That's why I, I get kids and try to help them come to a good program to go to a good Catholic school, a good public school, anything. So it's like, hey, if I can change one person's life, I'm happy. One person, if I can get one person on the street, I'm happy. Second shooting occurred on my block. I had went out to uh, a club and came back chilling out there with friends and laughing. And, and somebody come through the gangway. And when the first shot went off, it was me and a couple. I grabbed him like, I thought I was about to die. I ain't see myself making it. I told him, hey, tell my kid, I love them. And, and they did, he took, took good care of them. And let them know they are gonna be straight. After I got shot, I went blind. Now I gotta adapt to a whole new lifestyle. Like, I was at the point of the Great Depression. I wanted to kill myself. I had to teach my son and my daughter, my two oldest kids, all my business because I, I wasn't getting help and I had to learn how to help myself. Good job. Good job. Okay. Yeah, everything on two. I see the kids a little yeah. bit, but I can't really see them how I really want. So sometimes, like I gotta like Come back, ask boy. them what did they do. I mean, ask the coach like what did they do wrong. But I can what? see and show them how to run the offense. Like I still know the game. I know everything about the game. I done taught my son the game. Now I got, I got two more sons. I got to teach them the game. I got to teach them, hey, don't, put, don't pick up a gun. Put that gun down. Pick up a ball. Help your daddy finish this marathon we got going on. Make me proud. Make your mother proud. These kids out here going through what I'm going through. All this killing and stuff going on, it's the youth doing it. I'm trying to tell one of these kids to put the guns down. You don't need a gun. You see what's happened to me? You see what's going on with me? So that's why I'm trying to develop the youth. I want, I'm trying to get these, grab these, the young kids and get them into a program and let them know, hey, you got somebody that love you, like somebody that want to see you go on to college and be something. I'm my only boy. It's just my only one running. So, friends, don't be out. I call Joe Jack White.